Hi, we're the Lady Redskins, and welcome to the Redskins Sports Show. Um, I'd say like last night. Last night was the first time this season that we've played all four quarters hard, and we want to continue that. That's got to be a very good feeling going in. How far away are you guys from the regional starting here? Soon, isn't it? That's got to be a good feeling going in. It starts on February the 13th. winning um, regionals and sectionals and um, the almost 2,000 people at our sectional, or super sectional game was really awesome. Um, my favorite memory was regionals, regional championship, when it was really our first humongous crowd and we got home and we won and it was really excited and we got to tear down the 53-58 um, sign. So, which was the last year's regional loss, and that was my favorite thing, just winning that game. that a lot of people didn't believe that we could go as far as we have and we've proved a lot of people wrong by beating like teams like Jerseyville who made it to the Elite Eight last year, um, beating Springfield now for the sectional title 
and winning the conference. So I think that we've just proved a lot of people wrong, and it's been really exciting what we've done so far. We picked up the intensity in the postseason. Um, I think the biggest game was, um, well, obviously regionals was pretty big, but we really picked it up, I think, the sectional game against Springfield because we knew that we could beat them, and we lost against them once and beat them once. So um, everyone, I thought, picked it up and played well. Coaches. Okay, in order for me to get pumped up for games, the coaches would just sit there and yell at me and make me feel so stupid. And I, I mean, I guess they got me motivated and then it worked in most situations. But I remember Mr. Clem, like, we had a big game and I wasn't playing very well. And he would just sit there all day walking in the halls and say stuff that was so mean, just to make me so mad. But it ended up working.
at Westchester because there was a couple games that we didn't play so well. Um, the game that we played against Taylorville at Taylorville, even though we won, it was a horrible game. Um, but then we turned around, like, I don't know if it was the next game or a couple games later, and we took it to Jacksonville and ruined their senior night. And I think that was one of the turning points of our season. And we just started getting on a roll and carried on to uh, Super Sectional. This season, especially for our seniors, was definitely making it all the way to Super Sectional. The low at that point of the season would probably be Jacksonville, I would say because we didn't play very well that game. But at the same time, we still came out and won it. Um, but then again, you could also say one of the, like, like the low could also be the Belleville East game at Super Sectional because that's where we lost, and that was kind of like a big letdown. You kind of know that your season's over. And even though, for me, it was over before that, it still, it really hits you hard at that point. I'm a lady.
Uh, going to Belleville for the Super Sectionals. Uh, how's that feel? It's right. awesome. No one has ever gotten this far for Glenwood. It's just awesome. Yeah! Yeah! I'm all tingly inside. <laughs> <laughs> and if uh, you guys defeat Belleville, you'll be going to state. How's that feel? Yeah! Wow. We're That's a game away. One state. game away, state. man. That's, That's awesome. awesome. We're only one game away from the state We're championship. Right. You guys want to say anything else? Um, thank you! Hardwell and assistant coach Bill Klim, uh, what do you got to say about the team's performance tonight, coach? It was a fantastic performance. I thought uh, our seniors really stepped up. I thought uh, Sarah Balgoni did a tremendous job on Mueller, really harassed her the whole game. Allery offensively controlled our offense and just hit some huge big shots. And we knew what we had to do. We controlled the boards, and that's what we told them before the game, and they really did a good job of doing that. Uh, coach Klim, what do you think of the team's defense? I think it was outstanding. I think uh, Coach Bardwell put together a real good plan from a defensive standpoint, and the girls executed both defensively and offensively tonight. We took care of the ball when we needed to, and we stopped their threats at all times. So I thought it was a great game. like a great bunch of seniors and um, all of them like really helped me get through the season and everybody else they really were great role models and they work so hard and they're really great leaders they never stopped like trying and they always pushed us hard which uh, sometimes gets annoying but they made sure that we uh, stepped up and played our role
Well, I think uh, I think this season was uh, comparable to the seasons that we've had here in the last. I think it's it goes right in hand with the, the seasons that we've had here in the last few years. Uh, I know that there was a uh, you know, and people will focus on on uh, the fact that we lost in the first round of playoffs. You know, and, and to be quite honest, uh, it's difficult for me not to focus on what happened in that last game uh, of the season. But but you know, I, I you know kind of train myself or, or make myself uh, uh, see the whole picture and see you know what we accomplished and and uh, and as a team, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of the fact that that, uh, that our team in, in the year 2000 came out and. With very very high expectation, the bar has been raised, you know, and and uh, to finish seven and three, you know, if we finish seventy seven and three in in uh, uh, in, in nineteen uh, eighty through ninety six, we have parades in Chatham, but because we won a state championship and because uh, we were ten and one the previous year and because we went to the quarterfinals in that time period, uh, you know, people aren't aren't quite as uh, excited about a 7-3 record, but the fact is that we were a playoff team. We went 7-3, lost one game in the playoffs. Our schedule is much tougher than it has ever been, and it's going to be, again, that much tougher next year. So uh, I think that uh, things are changing. I think we are progressing with that change, and uh, I'm very proud of, of, of what we've uh, done this year. Uh, I know that uh, you know maybe again people people might not see it the same way that I see it, but uh, you know in 20 years of coaching, you know if you look back and you say seven and three is is uh, you know, is not as good a year, well then you're doing a pretty good job if 73 to, uh, seven and three isn't isn't a, isn't a great season because uh, you know most folks in the state would love to have a seven and three record and make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Without any doubt, in my mind, our uh, our coaching staff at, at Glenwood High School is the best coaching staff in the state of Illinois, and I say that without a flinch. I say it without even having to, to think twice. I, you know, uh, looking at these coaching staffs in the Central State Eight, in my mind, there's no comparison. There are some very good coaching staffs in the Central State Eight. The best is at Chatham Glenwood. Uh, there are very good coaching staffs in the state of Illinois. In my mind, the best is at Chatham Glenwood. Now I know that that's arguable and that's hard to prove, but I wouldn't trade these guys for any any other staff in the state of Illinois. Oh, yeah. Senior class, my class is uh, real fun. We had a lot of fun times on and off the field. Uh, it was just a blast being with, on the field with all of them. Uh, we're all friends. We get along together. But uh, when we get on the field, it's like we're all a bunch of like warriors just going out to kill people. And uh, our senior class is definitely much better than the senior class coming up. It, uh, it was horrible. I mean, no one wants to end the season that early, especially against the team that we've already beaten. Uh, I think maybe some people are looking past Taylorville. And uh, it was just a horrible loss and a bad end to four years of football. What do you think it's going to take for the, the younger guys to step up and have a successful season next year? As long as they stick with it, uh, play together as a team, keep working this whole off season as a team, and uh, just pretty much stick together and just have the same kind of heart that we've had in past years from seniors. Um, I think one of my best games might have been the uh, Griffin game. I had uh, my first uh, reception as a uh, wide receiver, and uh, it went for a lot of yards, and I probably would have scored if I would have had some breakaway speed, but uh, kind of slow, so I didn't, didn't quite make it to the end game. Uh, I think my best game was the land fear game. Just everything was going well for me. Talk about the coaches and you what know, they've in the past four years of playing. The coaches are something. They they have this attitude, which is which is uh, really a mix of different personalities. They sometimes they'll get on you and make you work really hard, and sometimes they're laid back and really easygoing. Uh, uh, the difference between I guess JV and varsity for me was just like the speed thing. Like in the JV level, you know, you can get away with a lot of things. 
and not be fast. But varsity, you know, everything's happening a whole lot faster, and it's just all faster pace, I guess. And you know, there's like certain cuts you had to make on offense. You know, like you couldn't always cut outside. You always it was just all different, and mostly just the speed. I think the funniest thing that happened this year was uh, in the uh, locker room at halftime in the Lincoln game, and uh, Coach Honkin was uh, getting on to us for not playing the best we should. And um, after he got done yelling, he had a water bottle in his hand, and he started to walk away, and he chucked it behind him. And uh, I guess he didn't see Coach A, and when he chucked that water bottle, it hit Coach A right in the place. You don't want to get hit if you're a man. And so, like, Coach A hit his knees, and I think all the players were biting their tongues and sticking their mouthpiece in their mouth because they didn't want to laugh, but I think we kind of laughed anyways. But that's probably the funniest thing that happened this year. Yeah, uh, if they have any intentions of playing, I would definitely recommend uh, working hard, getting into the early bird class, and uh, lifting weights every day after school. Um, that's, that's basically what it is when you come down to and you have, have to have a lot of heart. Um, you can talk and words, words can, I mean, words don't mean anything. You gotta show the words to prove that you're a good football player, not just say it.